All right, today what we're gonna be doing is taking this word problem, not necessarily solving it, but just taking it and translating it into a proportion. The problem reads, if six teachers can drink 40 cups of coffee weekly, how many cups of coffee can 13 teachers put away? And I guess it's implied that's a week. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. All right, to set a proportion, all you wanna do is make sure everything is lined up. Teachers with teachers, coffee with coffee. So I'm gonna set it up two ways and I'll show you a way that you can check yourself because maybe you're doing a multiple choice test. So there's two relationships. Now, here the key thing is to line up everything. So to line up everything, you have six teachers that's associated with 40 cups of coffee. Now, your second ratio, you don't know what the cups of coffee um, how many cups of coffee are, so that's your X, and that would be lining up with coffee. And then you have 13 teachers. Now you see that? Make sure just everything's lined up. Now I'll show you a different way how to set it up. So let's put teachers first. Teachers, and that's gonna go vertically. And then same thing with the coffee. With the coffee, let's make it vertical as well. Same thing with the ratios. We'll make the ratios the opposite. So instead of having them vertically going down, let's have them horizontally. So, teachers with teachers, the first, right, is six. Second is 13. Now the cups of coffee. Uh, the cups of coffee for the 13 is, I don't know what that is, is the X. And the cups of coffee for the six is 40. But you're like, oh, they're set up differently. What if they're set up on a multiple choice test differently? Well, they're only gonna give you one that's correct. They're not gonna give you two that's correct. Now the way to check yourself to see what's correct is you simply cross multiply. So here you cross multiply the six times the x, or vice versa, what's x times six? Yes, that is six x. And what's 13 times 40? Who cares? It's 13 times 40. You're not trying to solve it. Here, you would do the same, you would cross multiply. So it would be six times x, six x equals, and then 40 times 13, which is 40 times 13. Now, is this the same as this? Yes. As long as you set it up correctly and make sure everything's lined up, when you cross multiply, it's gonna look exactly the same when you're doing these proportion problems. So that's it. Just make sure everything's lined up. Teachers with teachers, coffee with coffee, and then the ratios, the first relationship lined up with the, you know, you have the second relationship. And 